It's time for a Black Barrel battle. This week I'm putting the regular Jameson Black Barrel, the Jameson Black Barrel Proof and the distillery exclusive Cask Strength Black Barrel against each other to see which one's best. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, today we're having ourselves a bit of a Jameson Black Barrel battle. And because one of the questions I actually get asked pretty frequently, either here on YouTube or on Instagram, is about these two whiskies right here, the Jameson Black Barrel and the Jameson Black Barrel Proof. This, if you're not aware, is Jameson's kind of, um, I guess, entry level to their upmarket brands. The Jameson Black Barrel, it's essentially the same amount of, the same kind of idea as their standard Jameson whiskey. It's a blend of grain whiskey and pot still Irish whiskey, with the pot still Irish whiskey having been aged for a bit in sherry casks. But what they do here is they give it a bit of an extra time, a bit of extra finishing in a recharred or a extra charred bourbon barrel. So those bourbon barrels, they call them like alligator charred, they call them the, the black barrel idea. And it gives it more, apparently, more sweetness, more vanilla, more caramel, and a bit more of an oaky bite. So it gives that kind of standard Jameson with a bit maybe extra pot still for sweetness, a little bit more sweetness, a bit more depth, a bit more kind of oaky character than you'd expect from their standard whiskies. And that's their basic one. This one right here is the 50% version. So this one here comes in at 40%. The standard edition at 40% makes for an easy drinker. This one here, the Black Barrel Proof, aside from being in a matte black, bar black, matte black bottle, try and say that five times fast, it comes in at 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof if you're over in America. I know for a while that this was, I think, exclusive to Ireland, at least for the first little batches of it. I think I've seen people posting online that it's made its way to America, it's made its way to Germany, and it's made its way to over to England. So uh, you should be able to find it maybe more and more frequently now, but it's just the kind of this whiskey, but at 50% alcohol by volume. And lastly, this one right here. This is a special edition you could only get at the Jameson Distillery, either here in Dublin or down in Cork, because they've got two kind of distillery kind of tour experiences. And this is a cask strength version of it. This here is coming in at just over 60% alcohol by volume. I, I filled this one myself. It's an experience you do at the distillery where you fill a bottle from a, dis from the, from a barrel and you get to keep it and you write your own label. So this here was, a, it came in at just over 60% alcohol by volume, but I didn't have enough space, so I just wrote 60%. I think if I recall correctly, it was like 60.2% alcohol by volume. So essentially we've got Jameson Black Barrel at 40%, 50%, and 60%. And a lot of people often ask me, which one I think is best? Which one I think is the best of the three? Or if it can only get the two of them, which is the best of the two? And generally speaking, I've replied, that the black barrel proof is where it is for me because this one here it's nice it's lovely it's sweet but it's a little too light this one here it's quite full forward it's quite strong it has a little bit of an alcohol burn to it but it's still quite sweet but still quite enjoyable right here at 50 percent it's to me or to my palate it's in the middle it cuts the difference and it's quite nice and enjoyable but i haven't actually tried the three of them against each other in a video at least so now i'm going to try them all against each other on camera and kind of put it to rest I have got a little glass of water here, which I'll be drinking between each one to make sure my palate is nice and clear. But again, it's the same whiskey, just at different ABV, so it shouldn't be too hard to kind of differentiate between them. If you've ever tried any of these three, let me know what your favorite is. But right now, let's go in. Okay, look, it, I've had this a lot before. This is a classic Irish whiskey. It's like one of those modern classic Irish whiskeys where it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit softer, still easy to drink, but very much a crowd pleaser, like lots of vanilla, almost a little bit of dark cocoa powder coming through, caramel, bit of red fruits, bit of red berries, just a very nice, simple, easy going whiskey. Now the proof. Okay, more oak. Definitely, as a difference, the oak is here, the bit of like the charred oak is here, immediately here, way more of that oak punch up front. Still quite sweet, still quite a bit of dark fruits, again, with that cocoa powder, with that kind of espresso powder, that kind of dark note there. But the oaky influence was way more apparent. Again, and then once you get past that, you get that sweetness, you get that vanilla. You get that caramel note again. So a little bit stronger, a little bit more punchy. Now go in for the 60% distillery exclusive. Cheers. Okay. I'd say the oak 
punch is about the same as the black barrel proof but you get a lot more alcohol you do you you can tell that this one is higher abv like between these two they smell pretty similar they smell you know aside from the oaky difference they smell like that alcohol punch is still it's not hugely apparent here though you can you can feel it you know when you smell a really high abv whiskey and you get this kind of i know crinkle in your nose like oh yeah i can i can tell that one has a high abv that's what i'm getting here it's basically it's basically like a little bit elevated from this actually like still getting that oak still getting that all that like dark fruits bit of espresso powder caramel almost actually it's almost a little fruitier i think actually i think this one is the fruitiest so of, of the three on the nose at least the sweetest the oakiest and the fruitiest but let's go in for the palate cheers okay it's light it's easy to drink again the same notes a bit more caramelly a bit more of that vanilla on the palate as soon as i swallowed it the finish really light but like it's hanging on it's almost like i've got this caramel it's almost like i just ate a caramel sweet it's that kind of note onto the finish of it quite light but it's nice and sweet it's very much a crowd please like you could have probably a shot of this you'd be fine you could have this in a cocktail you'd be fine it does deliver a nice amount of flavor but more of a crowd pleaser now on to the black barrel proof cheers okay so the alcohol yeah on the on the palate as soon as it hits you and on the finish the alcohol is much more apparent like I'm not saying it's 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 sharp or it's strong or it's 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 upsetting, but you get this kind of like your mouth starts to salivate. You can tell there's a higher ABV there. Again, that oak punch from the nose comes through into the palate. You got that bit of oaky char. The finish is lasting like significantly longer. I'm now getting that caramel. I'm getting that vanilla. Actually, almost like a like a rich vanilla buttercream. Like it's quite a sweet, almost like natural, like creamy vanilla coming through here. Like just that kind of normal vanilla flavor you'll get in a whiskey here a bit creamier a bit rounder a bit richer i think that's probably that that heavier abv giving it a heavier thicker mouthfeel with that which then kind of allows you to taste that vanilla more of like a creamy note rather than just a vanilla taste and now the higher abv the 60 percent distillery exclusive cheers immediately up front it's quite similar it's very similar but then as soon as it hit like my cheeks, that ABV kind of sucked in my cheeks. So it was, whoop, okay, there we go. I can taste that high ABV. On the finish now, as I'm talking, I'm breathing. I've got that alcohol vapor in my palate. I've got that alcohol vapor there. Definitely very rich, very strong. Again, it's the same whiskey. So it's not like it's gonna be a different kind of taste. The fruity note I was getting on the nose, like as I said, this was probably the fruitiest of them on the nose wasn't really getting that it was just getting more of that kind of oak char here so on the nose like on the uh, this one here did had it had the oak char with lead with a lot more fruity notes on the palate and into the finish definitely a bit more of that oak char probably from that higher abv kind of giving me that yeah it's landing that oak spiciness you get it has that abv giving it that little bit more yeah a bit more of like a an oaky spice there before I give my final thoughts on these three, if you've had any of these three, let me know what you thought of them below. If you've had two of the three, or even all three of them, let me know which one your favorite was. Because for me, I think I'm gonna stick with my kind of classic recommendation that I think the Black Barrel Proof, at least for me, to my palate, is my favorite of the three. Don't get me wrong, this is a really nice, lovely little whiskey, very much a crowd pleaser, very much something you could pour for someone if they're used to something like kind of the bottom shelf, entry level whiskies, the standard Jameson, you can give them this. It'll be familiar, it's still a 40%, so it's an easy drinker, very, very tasty. This one here, it's nice, it has a bit more weight, a bit more punchiness, it has that mouth feel that's quite creamy, but then it doesn't go so high in the ABV here that the alcohol becomes almost like distracting, where the alcohol becomes like, oh, that's, I can taste the alcohol. With this one here, you're more just about tasting the whiskey. And for me, I think a lot of whiskeys, like sometimes you can get a whiskey like 60% and it does not taste like it's 60%. This one here tastes like it's at 60%. This one here doesn't really taste like it's at 50%, but it does have that nice bit of weight to it that makes you kind of go, oh yeah, that one's, that one's nice. I, I enjoy that one. So for me, to my money, to my palate, 
it's the Black Barrel Proof is where I would recommend any of these three. But again, they're nice whiskeys, but again, if so, if I was gonna go one, two, three, this would be my favorite, second favorite, third favorite. Not that it's a bad whiskey, but just because it's a little bit harder to drink. It's a little bit like, you do have to kind of sit with it and go, okay, I might dilute it. I might add a couple of drops to water just to bring it down. And yeah, that's where, that's where I would leave it at that. So I've got three whiskeys in front of me. I'm probably gonna enjoy all three of them, but I know I'm gonna enjoy this one the most. So I'll start with that and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.